So sometimes we're approached with the question of why do you graph rag rather than just rag? And really, I, the best way that I can describe that is that we want to perform similarity computation based on the similarity of networks and connected components, not just the strings that make up words. So we call that semantic fingerprinting. Um, and we're going to use that to create a lexical graph of the documents about aircraft in. So this demo is going to show us interacting with these graphs with some MCP servers. Um, and with that, I'll hand over to Kevin. So as Charlie's explained, we kind of like, we've got two different data sets in two very different frameworks. So we've got labeled property graph, which is going to be our lexical graph. And I'm going to talk a bit about the model that's actually generated there. And we've got, we're going to have our RDF graph as well. And that's, and we're using RDF here because we're actually, we want to get the structure from our original schema, from the public schema, the AIXM schema. So we're utilizing that as, a, as, as something that's available, publicly available. Hey. So here's just, here, I just want to explain the different schemas that we actually have. So our lexical graph um, provides us with three different tiers. First of all, we have our lineage tier. Now that's made up of source and chunk nodes. Now the source can be a one-to-one -one relation with a like, physical source, like a PDF, or, an, or on, like a markdown file, which is what we've actually ingested. So that's kind of like, that was our lexical graph. So how do we actually build our RDF? How do we build the, 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 the RDF, the actual technical data? Because what we're trying to store in our lexical graph was the reports, the instant reports that we had. They're generally going to be coming in as unstructured data. So how do we want to, we, how do we actually want to take sort of more technical data, but utilize existing schemas to provide really strict patterns to actually um, to model that. So we took, we took wiki data um, regarding each of the aircraft, then applied that strict schema and used Gen AI, used LLMs to actually, to actually create a representation of that data, of that unstructured data into an RDF format. What is lexical graph and the knowledge graph? They're not the same. There's a reason why we're actually not utilizing, or we're utilizing both. 